So this comment was left from my child-free mutual Callie. You would make a great mom. I think you should reconsider. When you go through that experience, you'll never regret it. No one ever regrets having children, other than the wrong time or the wrong person. So first of all, there's already a flaw in your argument because you said no one ever regrets having children and then you list at least two ways that someone could regret having children. So, but anyway, yikes. First, never tell someone who doesn't want kids that they would be a great mom. First of all, it's really disrespectful of their choice. Like imagine going up to a parent and being like, wow, you would be such a great child-free person if you didn't have that. But second, Callie made a video response to this comment. And in response to her video response, you wrote all these comments like backpedaling as to why she wouldn't be a good mom. But what if upon reading this comment here, Callie went out and got pregnant or adopted a kid because you said that she'd be a great mom and she should reconsider. So she did. I'd also like to tell you the story of a friend of my ex, whose funeral he and I attended around 2015. I'm not going to give every detail I know, but I will give you the overview. So this woman, let's call her Sam, was a childhood friend of my ex's from his childhood church. They were around the same age, so like mid to late 20s in 2015. She had mentioned several times to my ex over the years growing up that she wasn't sure if she wanted kids. But once Sam entered her 20s, and especially after she got married, to another member from that church people started pushing her to change her mind or possibly they didn't know that she didn't want kids and they just started asking them over and over when they were going to start having kids eventually sam did get pregnant even though she was still unsure about motherhood i didn't know sam when she was living so of course i didn't know her while she was pregnant it doesn't seem that throughout her pregnancy her mental health was in the greatest place nevertheless she gave birth to her daughter and took on the role of mom six months later sam took her own life she tried to make this self-unaliving look like a car accident, but long story short, there were a myriad of things that made it obvious it was not an accident. As far as parenthood, she'd taken advice from people like you. You'd been assured that it was impossible to regret having a child, that it'll be different when it's your own. It wasn't impossible, and it wasn't different when it was her own. To add insult to injury, Sam's widower quickly remarried, and from what my ex has heard, Sam's husband does not speak of his late wife. Her daughter can't possibly remember her, and may never know anything about her, even through stories told by her dad, because her dad isn't telling these stories. What would you do if someone took your advice and suffered the same fate as Sam? 